if you can make 9% every single year over the next 30 years, you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be well off, ready to retire, and you're going to be a millionaire, no doubt. Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. If you're new to investing, let me tell you guys the number one rule. Buy low and sell high. You never want to buy high and then sell low. But now that the market is finally pulling back, you probably heard, you probably seen where the market has done over the last year. And two, I'm telling you guys, two of my blue chip S&P 500 companies, two of my favorite companies have finally pulled back to a buy zone to where I'm comfortable paying for these stocks. These two stocks right here, first, Apple has pulled back to our buy zone and Google has pulled back to our buy zone. Now, these two stocks that I'm bringing you guys, people will say these are companies that you buy no matter what the price is. These are companies that you hold inside your portfolio forever that you pass on to your grandkids. But I just hate overpaying for stocks because if you, I want to get stocks at an amazing value and these two companies finally pull back into a good value for me and that is Apple and Google. Now you guys know those two companies right there is probably at the top two richest companies in America, trillion dollar companies. You can't run America without Microsoft and you can't run America without Apple. So that's why a lot of investors have them inside their portfolio, but we are smart investors. We are going to try to outperform the market by just buying it at a fair value. Even if we have to be patient, let's say if Apple is at an unfair value for a year, that's where we, we, we are the smart investors. We wait until it pulls back to a price to where we're comfortable buying these shares at. And that's what Apple and that's what Google just did. I'm going to show you guys exactly my future steps on what I'm going to do with these two companies because i'm not just going to go in and say hey it hit my buy point let's buy up all the shares no i'm going to show you guys the smart strategic way where advanced traders take advantage of a low price of when the stock market pull back on how we can make money buying these shares or how we can make money to not even buy these shares and, and still kind of outperform the market if the market pulls back some more and outperform the market if it um, goes up six to eight percent in the following year because the strategy I'm going to show you guys you can make a profit of around seven to nine percent in a single year off of these two companies by not even owning a single share at all of these of Apple or Google so make sure that you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information if you guys would like to pick up some free stocks I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to Webull. Sign up with Webull, deposit any amount. You can deposit one penny if you want to, and you receive up to 12 free stocks valued up to $12,000. With those 12 free stocks, you could keep them aside the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those 12 free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I have a special link with Moomoo down in the description. You sign up with them, deposit $100, you could get up to 20 free stocks valued all the way up to $40,000. So do not miss out on these amazing opportunities, these end of the year opportunities. Please take full advantage of that, especially if you're just getting started. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers, here we are on Robinhood. Now the S&P 500, uh, ticker symbol SPY, tracks the top 500 companies in America. It kind of tracks the stock market. It's the benchmark for the stock market. And over the last year, as you guys can see, the S&P 500 is down 16.23%. Give and take that over the last 30 years, the um, stock market usually goes up six to 8% every single year. And just in one year alone is down 16%. And if you're heavily invested inside of the tech industry, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys QQQ. So we've got a QQQ right here. QQQ is heavily invested into the top um, tech industries inside of America. And as you guys can see, they're down 28% over the last year alone, 28.97%. So even though these two sectors have pulled back, I'm going to show you guys that even if the market decides to pull back again next year on how you can still profit around seven to nine percent, even if the market still decides to pull back on these top two high quality stocks, Google and Apple. So first, let's take a look at Apple. OK, here we are. On Apple ticker symbol AAPL. They're down to one hundred and thirty one dollars and sixty four cents over the last year. They're down twenty one point seven percent. Having got high over the last year of around one hundred and eighty two dollars, they pulled all the way back to around one hundred and thirty one dollars. Now, a lot of new investors are going to say, hey, I'm going to go in. I'm going to buy the dip. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of shares at one hundred thirty one dollars. Not a bad idea. It's cool. It's at a 
it's not the best price, but it's at a, a more reasonable price than it was at $181 around this price point right there, $182. And some investors are going to go in. Well, I'm not going to say investors. Some traders are going to go in and buy calls. They're going to say, hey, Apple can't dip any lower. I'm going to buy calls. I'm going to predict that the stock is going to go up over the next couple of weeks and they could still lose all their money if Apple decides to pull back. Now, we are smart investors. What we're going to do, we're going to sell options. We're not going to buy options. We're going to sell options so selling options give us the right to either buy 100 shares or sell 100 shares of a certain stock at a certain price only that we are comfortable at and what we're going to do we're going to sell cash secure puts on apple and google let me show you guys exactly how that's done or how we can make around nine percent on apple in just one year so you want to hit trade right here at the bottom right hit trade options now when you first go here it's going to start on buy car but we're not buying cars we're going to sell a put selling puts means that we do not own 100 shares of apple yet but we would like to own 100 shares of apple right now apple is at 131 dollars and remember we're talking about a profit of around nine percent over a given year that is pretty good for investor if you can make nine percent every single year over the next 30 years you're going to be <laughs> you're going to be well off ready to retire and you're going to be a millionaire no doubt but Let's go out to the future. Let's say we're gonna go all the way out to December 15, 2023. So around a year from now, 12 months from now. So uh, remember Apple price is at $131.62. We're comfortable buying Apple at $131. But let's just say we think that the market could pull back and we would just wanna be a little bit more um take a little less risk and buy apple at an even cheaper price so, so here we go let's say we're willing to buy apple right here for 115 dollars apple is at currently at 131 dollars so right now we're going to get credited to our account um 915 dollars it says nine dollar and 15 cents but remember we're talking about 100 shares so you multiply that by 100 so we're profit 915 dollars immediately but it's going to cost us eleven thousand five hundred dollars in collateral that we have to put up so this is saying that hey we're not comfortable buying apple at 131 dollars but we are comfortable buying apple at 115 dollars so let's say we got all the way out to december december 15 uh, 2023 and apple is still at let's say apple is at 131 dollars or let's say apple pulls back to 120 dollars we are not comfortable buying apple at 120 dollars we set our goal out to only buy apple at 115 dollars so they are not going to assign us our shares so what they're going to do they're going to release our collateral back to us while my our eleven thousand five hundred dollars back to us and we get to keep the nine hundred and fifteen dollars and that is around a nine percent gain in just a single year which is amazing guys we made nine hundred and fifteen dollars we made nine hundred and fifteen dollars and let's say if apple pulls back to exactly 115 dollars then we're going to buy 100 shares of apple at 115 dollars just like we wanted to and we also get to keep we get to keep the premiums of 915 dollars so as soon as we put that in 915 dollars is going to get credited to our account immediately that's why i love this long cash secure push strategy that is a nine percent gain waiting and if we are assigned shares at apple at 115 dollars that is amazing this is a company that i do want to own in my have inside of my portfolio for a very very long time the next 20 30 40 years i want to have them inside of my portfolio they are a trillion dollar company so even if we even if apple does pull back to under let's say they pull back to 110 dollars whereas you guys can see my break even price is still 105 dollars because they're giving me money to sell this options they're giving me 915 dollars to sell these options so even if apple pulls back to 105 dollars i will still be fine with that so let's move on over to the other one it was it's a little cheaper than apple which is google took a symbol g-o-o-g-l right now google is around 88 dollars over the last year they're down 36 percent um google is also another trillion dollar company that i want to have inside of my portfolio for a very long time okay so if we wanted to do the strategy on google remember we're selling a put a cash secure put we're going okay so we're, let's go out to january 19 2024 for us so it's about a year and 20 days from now uh, let's let's roll back and say hey we're comfortable I'm comfortable buying shares of Google at $88, but let's just say if we want to be a little less risky and say we're comfortable of buying shares of Google at $80 and they're going to give us a premium 
of $735. So we have to put up $8,000 to make around $735. That is around another eight to 9% gain if we do the same, same exact strategy on Google. Now, the reason that you can't do this all the time, because uh, if you was to do this when Google was at its all time high up there in $120, $130, that is overpriced for us, especially if we only willing to buy it at around $80. So these premiums would not look like this. The premiums would be absolute trash. In fact, the premiums will look like you'll make around maybe a hundred dollars over the next year or so. That is not a good percent for us. We're looking for eight to nine percent every single year. So, so if we used to do this on Google, you do not want to sell cash secure puts when these companies are at their all time highs. You want to wait until these companies pull back and then sell cash secure puts at a price that you're comfortable actually owning these shares at. And there we go, dreamers, Apple and Google, we're going to sell cash secure push. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of money. It might take a lot of money, but you can find other companies that you're willing to have inside of your portfolio for the next 10, 15, 25 years that don't cost as much as Apple or Google. But you want to find good quality companies that you do not mind owning for a very long time that you could sell cash secure puts on to make a, a, a eight to nine percent gain over a year. So that is another way that you guys can use to cover calls in a cash secure put strategy to make more income inside the stock market to kind of uh, protect yourself from big swings up and big swings down inside the stock market um, if you guys are already using this strategy or have another company that you do want to own 100 shares of that's a little cheaper than apple and a little cheaper than google go ahead and drop those down in the comment section i can't wait to see what um, companies that you guys are willing to do the strategy on and drop their premiums down there in the chat too i want to see how much these premiums are and hey, I might make another video with you guys' suggestions and, and actually add them in my portfolio and track them over the next year to see what kind of percent gain we can have over the next year in selling cash at your put. But that's it, guys. If you really want to help this channel, subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. Roll down to the description, hit that Weeble, hit that Moomoo button, get you some free shares before this awesome deal ends. I'm telling you guys, if you made it to this point of the video, grab you some free shares because you don't want to miss out while the getting is good. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.